As technology continues to advance, problem solving has also been carried along in this race of ever evolving innovation. Quantum mechanics loosely describes harnessing the marvel of quantum mechanics, including phenomena like superposition and entanglement, to perform computation. This is done with the use of a quantum computer. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a look at the wonder of the world's most incredible quantum computers, China's super powerful quantum computer. The Quantum Computer Background Quantum computing first began in 1980 when the first quantum mechanical model of the Turing machine was proposed. Over the years, more studies into the possibility of going beyond what a classical computer can do began to spring up. 1994 saw the first development of a quantum algorithm that was used to factor integers in the potential decryption of encrypted communication. In recent years, the doubts that have surrounded the possibilities of quantum computing as more discoveries and experiments continue to prove that the prospect are entirely promising. On October 23, 2019, Google AI rocked the scientific world when it revealed that they were partnering with NASA to work on quantum computing. According to them, they had succeeded in designing a quantum computer called Sycamore to perform a quantum computation that was unachievable on any other classical computer present anywhere in the world at that time. This milestone included the use of superconducting quantum bits, which are also known as qubits and they work by relaying the flow of current to perform computation. This revelation was exciting, promising, and ultimately the first of its kind. Sycamore was able to complete a calculator that would have taken over 10,000 years in a measly 200 seconds. What is China's quantum computer? Google's quantum computer Sycamore was undeniably remarkable, and Google was well on its way to establishing itself as the forefront researcher of quantum computers. However, come 2020, a team from China upped the ante by several degrees when they promised quantum computing using photonic quantum bits. These photonic quantum bits differ from the typical quantum bits in that they are based on light, and thus, they have the ability to work in operations with unbelievably high speed. The quantum processor, which is called Zhuzhang, was said to be 10 billion times faster than Google Sycamore. It did so by using optical circuits as processors to Sycamore's use of superconductor materials on a chip. This particular feature of Google's quantum computer closely resembles the basic setup found in the classical computers of today. The experiment undoubtedly outperformed Google's work in 2019, but China's team did not stop there. In 2021, the leader of the team that implemented the photonic quantum bits went ahead to do some more groundbreaking work. The researcher, whose name is Jan Wei Pan, works at the University of Science and Technology of China in Shanghai. Once again, he has outperformed Google and everyone else in his exploration of quantum computing. Jan Wei Pan and his team were able to exploit quantum computing by using superconducting quantum bits. The quantum computer they use for this is called Zugoqing. Zugoqing is the world's most impressive impressive and super powerful quantum computer as of now. The programmable computer is said to be able to manipulate up to a whopping figure of 66 quantum bits all at the same time. This means that the Zugongji can encode quantum information across 66 qubits. To prove the extent to which this supercomputer can perform, Jay Wang Pan and his team of scientists use Zugongji to solve a computational problem while using 56 quantum bits. This feat was further emphasize when the team revealed that Zugongji solved the problem in just a little over an hour when the world's most powerful classical supercomputers would have taken eight years to solve it. Zugongji promises problem solving of remarkably high precision while being a programmable quantum computer platform. This will easily open doors for researchers to explore many novel phenomena as well as solve once impossibly complex quantum algorithms. The problem Zugongji solved was a sampling of the outer 
computer distribution of random quantum circuits. This is regarded as a highly complex problem that many classical supercomputers have failed to solve for many, many years. This quantum computer works on the theory of summarizing mathematical analysis, quantum chaos, computational complexity, random matrix theory, and probability theory. This theory also predicts that the more quantum bits that are added to the computer, the longer the computer will take to solve the problems. The problem which was used to test Zugonchi is said to be nearly 100 times more complex and daunting than the test that was used to evaluate Google's quantum processor, the Sycamore, in 2019. While Zugonchi made use of 56 quantum bits for its test and prowless evaluation, Sycamore used 54 quantum bits. However, it is worth mentioning that the quantum computer the Chinese team built in 2020 had a remarkably high number of 76 photonic quantum bits. The 2020 demonstration actually involved a unique set that include mirrors, prisms, lasers, and photon detectors, thus its high qubit capacity. The downfall of that quantum computer, however, was that it was not programmable. The Quantum Computer Future this groundbreaking innovation by this Chinese team is undeniably a powerful hint of what quantum computers can and will be capable of in the next couple of years. In reality, the kinds of calculations and problems solved by these quantum computers and processors are seldom translated to real-life applications. This means these types of problems are extremely specialized and, as such, quantum computers will not be replacing their binary classical computer predecessors anytime soon. So far, these quantum computers have been built to solve certain types of problems. As of now, the exploitation of quantum computing has only reached a point where there are a number of significant obstacles that may stand in the way of the processors being infallible, and ultimately useful and applied in real life. So far, these quantum computers find it hard to maintain quantum states, and as such, they are susceptible to quantum decoherence and state fidelity. This ultimately means that scientists still have to do tons of error correction when the supercomputers are done processing any complex problems. The potential application fields for these quantum computers include cryptography, search problems, quantum system simulations, adiabatic optimization, and quantum annealing. In cryptography, the current system in use can easily be frog-leaped by quantum computers that could efficiently solve the impact security of key cryptographic systems. In problems that admit a polynomial quantum speedup, unstructured search has proved to be one of the greatest obstacles. While this problem can be solved by using Grover's algorithm, the running time of the algorithm can take a tremendous amount of time. This can be avoided should quantum computing be integrated into the system. In machine learning, quantum processors will be able to produce far more output than classic computers could possibly hope to produce and more. The future of quantum computing is undeniably bright, and as China's super-powerful quantum computer has shown, there is much more to be explored and achieved. We can only wait with eagerness and anticipation as technology continues to advance in innovation. That is what we have on China's quantum computer, the Zangochi. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe so you don't miss any more updates that we have for you. Thanks for watching.